But we're in Puerto Rico. We're in Puerto Rico. We actually didn't expect to be in Puerto Rico because we're doing a Royal Caribbean seven night Eastern cruise, but it didn't originally include Puerto Rico. Oh, it's bright. <laughs> it's very bright, it's very hot. It, yeah, so it kind of changed very last minute, didn't it? So we've basically got, we're in San Juan today and we don't have very much time really. No, the ship docked at 7 a.m. this morning and we have to be back on, I think by 1 p.m. Yeah, that's not really much. So we had, we like to kind of explore and wing it ourselves and go and figure places out, but it all kind of happened so last minute we decided it's probably best to just book an excursion. And I don't remember the price, but I'll put it on the screen for you now. <laughs> oh, oh, it's a seaplane. Oh, cool, look at this. I want to do one of those. Me too. Wow. Terrifying. see how short our attention span is. I see something like that and I'm instantly like, I want to do a seaplane. And Stace is mm, so so. But what we were trying to say is because we, um, no, yeah, we're underprepared. Normally when we come to a place, we know all these details and we kind of fill in the gaps. But today it is very much going to be take a tour, find out everything that we need and kind of let the guy just walk us around old and new San Juan. We've got the full family in tow today, so we've got Tyler here again. If you've seen our ship tour, you would have seen him rocking around. He's little, he's our, uh, he's our recruit. How is it, Ty? Good. Yeah. What flavor did you get? I got rainbow. Rainbow flavor. It was good. Yeah. <laughs> he's All a bit, the descriptions. <laughs> he's a bit shy. <laughs> got it. You know think we're famous? Look at them all. <laughs> I was just hoping you were going to get wet. <laughs> I think you <it> went twice. <laughs> Alright, rather than ice cream, I'm just going to drop some quick knowledge bombs. San Juan is officially part of, well, is the largest city in Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico has 3.4 million people. It's officially part of US. So they use US dollars as you would have picked up from the, uh, the, ice, the ice cream or the sorbet that is very quickly fading away. Puerto Rico it speaks, Spanish? It speaks Spanish, which is great considering we've been to Mexico recently. We can say about seven words. <laughs> uh, it was also under officially Spanish for about 400 years yeah. prior to joining the US. They've got a lot of US change. There's, there's Burger King, there's like Walgreens, Walgreens there's McDonald's. And, Burger King. And so this tour is... Oh shit! Are you okay? Yeah. Oh. Get wet. Get run. Run, run time. Run time. Go 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 go. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Disaster. Oh, oh my yeah. god. How's oh Greg? Is the camera okay? I think he survived. I got stuck. Oh god. Yeah. The worst of it. That was hey, crazy. Ow, my shoes are wet. You alright, buddy? What we were trying to say before we got attacked there by the, whoa, by the water coming up over the edge was that we're doing the new and old San Juan and this is the new area that we've started in. So it's very much resort and it's very glamorous and uh, a lot more established than I imagine the old is going to be. But I'm putting the camera away because Greg does not need to get, get wet right now.
So we've just driven from New San Juan into Old San Juan and I think the best thing is because it's so hot is that we get to drive and we get the air Game changer! We thought we'd be doing a walking tour and be in the sun the entire time. I thought it was three hours of walking in 30 plus degrees and... But Cher, our uh, bus driver, has been filling us with all sorts of Ooh. knowledge bombs and the one that I remembered was that uh, the top three kind of money makers here are construction, tourism and pharmaceuticals, which I had no, no idea about. I really liked... So the name Puerto Rico means rich port and Puerto Rico, oh sorry, well San Juan was known as the walled city and the reason they made it a walled city was because they found diamonds and gold and all sorts of like really valuable items here but the thing that is, I think is kind of contradicting is they found all of these treasures, they walled off the city and then they called it rich port what, which is kind of like gave away the... <laughs> we've got treasure but you're not allowed to come here <laughs> we've just jumped off the, uh, the tour for now you can see the family waiting behind us there. We're gonna go for a little bit of a walk now around Old San Juan, but we've just been told from Shea. Yeah, our bus driver was saying that we should try one of the local beers and you can actually get it in a can or whatever, or a cup, and walk around the old town with it. This looks beautiful. If you got if you have a building here and you want to paint it, it has to be pastel. So the colors, it's, it's a magical little place. And I would not normally say magical, but that <laughs> kind of just came out of my mouth. <laughs> So much. You're welcome. That's three dollars. Grabbed ourselves a local beer. We got it from a tiny empanada place. It's so <laughs> random. We had to come to an empanada place. You can't walk with bottles, but we managed to put it into the uh, the, the, red Am cup? the American red cup. You first. I love doing this. You got to try and get those local meals, local drinks, local tastes. It's icy cold. Best way to explore a city. It tastes like a beer. <laughs> Crispy lager. It is quite light. Mm. It's not light much beer. aftertaste. Is it a light beer in terms yeah, of alcohol? A, I don't know. Yeah, I don't actually look if it was light beer in terms of alcohol or taste, but that's quality. And now we're going to wander these uh, these colourful streets. We're smiling. We really love it here. This is cool vibes. I wish we had longer to explore. I know. Puerto Rico is now on our like to-do list because of the beaches and the, the uh, rainforest and everything they've got here. There's a big fort down there as well, which is apparently 500 years old, so I think built by the Spanish. But rather than just seeing our faces, I just want you to just, just see this. Look at these colours. These little laneways like this. Everybody talking loudly around us. This dog's been following us for a while. Hey buddy. <laughs> We're just wandering along here. Just digging the colours and the vibe here. So we've managed to turn this into like an express food and drink tour. <laughs> we've come to La Bombonera, which is supposedly the oldest bakery in Old San Juan. And we were also told that we need to try the coffee. So we've both got iced coffee. Normally we wouldn't go for iced coffee, but because it is so hot, I forced Dane to get us iced coffee. Because <laughs> we're at the bakery, we could not try a pastry. I've completely forgotten the name of it. The staff here is so friendly. She took me for a, wa a wander to the window to pick it. And it, apparently inside it's got cheese and guava, which is not something I'd normally go for, but go she's, the local very, she's, she's very excited she's about it. She's adamant that you have to try it. <laughs> it's got layers, sort of like a Danish or a croissant. You can't really taste the cheese, it's mostly just all about the guava, which I... Have we had guava? I don't know. I don't know. It is kind it of, sweet? It's sweet, almost like a jam. Approved. The rumors about Puerto Rican coffee are very true as well. This is like a dark, oily, strong roast. The couple that had just left that were behind us were telling the lady as they were walking out, they were like, we're flying! And they said, next time I need to order decaf because it was so strong. And I just had a beer. Oh, yeah, so we've had a beer and a coffee. We're kind of doing the ups and the downs <laughs> to get that to get that Puerto Rican yeah. neutral. <laughs> Well, I would say that today is that's what cruising is all about. 
getting the, off the cruise ship. <laughs> getting off, but it's the chance to see somewhere. Yeah. Like, uh, you only get snippets of places. That is true. Some people say, I don't want to do a cruise because it's not real travel. And it depends what your version of real travel is. We travel very differently. Like, our whole channel is built based on deep, you know, deep exploring. Hello, mother. <laughs> My mum's across Hi, the road mom. just randomly. Um, I will say, though, like, it's cool that you can go to sleep we went to sleep last night in St. Thomas and mm. we woke up in Puerto Rico and we didn't have to do a thing. Yeah, and, and then we... That's probably one of my favourite parts of our... Yeah, cruising. and then stepped off the ship. There was somebody waiting for us. We all jumped on this bus. It's all very easy. It's very, very easy, but it is just a taster. And I'm, I can say, like, we really love Puerto Rico and we'll definitely be back.